All right, so we're gonna attack with Zyterra. No blocks. Use the Kiki to copy the innkeeper to give us the fifth treasure. We will then use Magda to sack the five treasures. Grabbing old Knobbone. Zyterra connects, we get six more treasures. And we can activate Magda once again. So that's what we shall do. We activate Magda and we're going to grab the Inferno and probably sack the Inferno and kill the Liesa. But no one ever lets us finish. And here's the deck. So it focuses around Magda. Magda says if you sacrifice five treasures, you may search your library for any artifact or dragon and put it onto the battlefield. And so we end up grabbing Goldspan Dragon, Asika's Chariot, and a bunch of one ofs in Inferno, Bootlegger Stash, Zytora, and Old Knobbone. And those allow, allow us to finish the game quickly. All right, so let's go through some combos. So let's say you've assembled Magda and you're able to go get Old Knobbone serves as a way to attack with a bunch of creatures and then replace those treasures right away, right? And so something else that you can go get after when you put in the Old Knobbone would be Zytora, right? Zytora says you can sacrifice a creature and deal its power to any target. So let's say you choose them. That synergizes with Old Knobbone because the creature is dealing damage to the player. And so you'll get treasures from that and you'll get treasures from Zytora. But now you must be wondering, okay, how do you finish the game? And the finisher is Inferno. So you can use all that mana that you produce from the treasures, especially when you can go get a Goldspan Dragon to double the mana from the treasures. You can uh, pump up Inferno for 20, and when its power becomes 20, so that's 14 pumps, uh, you'll be able to do 20 to any target. Essentially, you can kill, you can aim at their face and they, they would die. It's surprising how one Magda trigger can all of a sudden become two, three, four Magda triggers and end the game quite quickly. I will say I will rate it higher for best of one just because the deck is not a fan of board wipes. But if you're able to play against non-board wipe decks, you are in a great, great position. The deck has some busted draws and maybe as a community, we can uncover some more crazy synergies in this deck and make it one of the best decks in the format. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.